Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Diamond12 here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Chrism. Last time, did I say Chrism? I meant Pokemon Prism, obviously. Uh, last time, we went through the whole thing with being a Pokemon in that, like, little forest area where we had to, like, change the water levels. We had to do some, um, side quests for some Pokemon and, you know, actually, um, free some, that Pokemon from its mind control or something like that and we basically defeated those researchers that were doing bad things basically but now i decided uh, to basically <clears throat> move here to laurel city i just um I cut re really just right through it so you guys didn't don't have to like sit uh, through uh, me encountering a lot of pokemon on my way here so um but in the process uh Jaws did level up once, but he is still not evolved, which I hope he is gonna evolve soon. Um, because that would be really nice. I would love to have a Golbat, because it's so much better than um, than a Zubat, of course. So, yeah, in any case, now, though, however, we can actually go into the gym and uh, do the gym leader. We've already cleared out the trainers, so we only need to do the gym leader right here. Uh, I forgot what her name was, but... Um, Basically, we gotta do this gym, and I think I'm gonna lead uh, off with Josh because Josh um, is a poison type and can take fairy types really, or uh, fairy type moves really, really well. Um, as well as Crystal could probably be useful in this. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, do I have anything to give my Pokemon like that they can use in battle? I don't think so, really. There's nothing really that I could use, to be honest. In any case. Let's just try ahead. Let's just go ahead and try to do this. Is what I want to say here. All right. Thank you for finding my sweet little Totodile. Later, I'm going to put some makeup on it and make it look very pretty and hold it all day long. All right. You want my badge? Well, fine. Let's do this. I'm Brooklyn and I trade fairy type Pokemon. They're just so adorable that I just can't resist this type. Well, I feel bad for the Totodile. We got Gym Leader Brooklyn right here. Let's see what she's got. Alright, she's got a Jigglypuff. Wow, that totally wasn't uh, predictable or anything. Man, these things are level 21. I feel like I'm gonna have a bit of a trouble in this one, but we're just gonna try and wing attack this thing, see how much damage it's gonna do. Oh, that did that some pretty good damage. It's gonna be a 3 hit KO. As long as this Jigglypuff doesn't hit me with a random Psychic or something like that. Double slap, that's... It's very type. That's not gonna do much, unless it's gonna crit like every hit. Of course, you get the five times. I never can get the five times, but you, you have no problem because you're an and you're the CPU. CPU always gets five times. All right, so here comes Wiggly Tough. Oh boy. Um. So I wonder, since this is a sound bait move, and you're a sound type, does Supersonic not have effect on you? Let's test it out. Okay, we can still use Supersonic on you, that's good. Are you confused? Please hit yourself. Uh oh. Okay, defense girl. Hmm, I wonder how much this wing attack is gonna do. Let's see. Let's see. It's probably gonna do like nothing. Yeah, that did nothing. Alright, at least uh, she hit herself. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and try and go into Crystal here. I can go for a Will-O-Wisp and just whittle this down, uh, whittle this thing down little by little. Ooh, missed. Nice. Alright, Will-O-Wisp. Oh, and I think Try is super effective against Sound, so, um... Oh, it has Rollout. Even with the burn, that did so much damage. Holy moly, and it's gonna do even more damage now. Well... I just have to hope that Tri Attack is gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's super effective. Wow, that okay. That really didn't do much. Ooh, this thing is gonna be quite scary now. Um Who is gonna be able to do the most damage? Hmm. If Ogner is level 22. I guess I can try. And I can have the Intimidate, so I lower the um, rollout's attack power. And now I'm just gonna go for Spark. And hopefully, hopefully this kills. 
Oh, that's actually super effective as well. Alright, so... Electric is super effective against sound. That's good to know. Hopefully I can keep that in mind. Oh, and a Meryl is your last one? Perfect! That's just great. That is just absolutely perfect. Wow, I didn't expect that to one-shot, but okay, we take those. That was easy. That was pretty easy. Alright, alright, so you beat me. Fine, take this gram of metal. <laughs> metal? Wow. You got the charm badge. So for some reason, the charm badge will let your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. Also, since I'm such a little angel, <laughs> I'll let you have this. Well... And we got a new TM. Let's see what it is. Hmm, what's 45? Attract. Wow, that's terrible. The TMs we've gotten so far are, are really just kind of bad, except for Will-O-Wisp. Oh. Toto has decided to join your party. Oh, well, um... Th <laughs> that is kind of random. So... I guess Toto didn't really want to be with the trainer anymore. So, um... Guess we got it now. Well, I mean, I guess we just have to call it this now. I wonder what goes. What happens if we go back and we talk to the gym leader? What does he say? My turtle is gone again. What do you mean you wouldn't help me find it? You won't help me find it. Get out. Uh, that's pretty funny. Well, I guess we got a Toto Dial now. I don't know if I want to use it. I mean, I have the, uh, the Azumarill right now. And to be honest, it's doing pretty well. And I kind of already used a, a Frelegator in my last playthrough. In my, um, Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke playthrough. I mean, I would say what happened to it, but I don't really want to spoil it for the people that haven't seen it yet. Um, in case you, people want to see it, you know? Um, I guess that makes sense, but... Uh, yeah! I think I'm just gonna... Does just evolve at level 22? I really hope so. Um, that would be really nice. I don't know where to go now, though. Where is our map? Where is our map? So that was Laurel Forest. That goes to Terrania City, apparently. Maybe that man has moved now, and that probably means we can actually go that way. We can check it out real quick. Because I have no other options. Like, the only way... I can go, really. So let's get back here into this forest. Wow, we didn't encounter any Pokémon. Only those who understand the true potential of the ancient fish may pass. You're just like the rest. You do not understand. Be gone. Well, I guess we can't go there yet. And I have no idea where to go now. One thing I can try and do is go back to Spurge City. Because there was a gym over there where... Um, you know, we couldn't go in there yet, so for whatever reason. So let's see if we can do anything there, because honestly, I am out of options. Like, I don't think there's anything to the right over here that goes anywhere, um, unless I'm mistaken. Um. Oh, we can go into this cave now. The Magic Carp Caverns. Hmm. I wonder what this is about. Oh, it looks like this is not a maze. Well, that's just amazing, isn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, what are you? Hold on. North of the cave lies the region of Thunad. You're not strong enough to handle the trainers there yet. Come back when you have grown more as a trainer. Wait, are there three regions in this game? Are there seriously three regions? That's kind of wild. Wait, this is where we came from? I don't remember. I don't think so, actually. Okay, so we need strength for this. 
I don't have strength. Where am I going, dude? There's an old man over there. Uh, there's an item here. We take those. A heartstone. We could give that to, um... The Wrath. Because Mudslap isn't really gonna do much. Actually, I think we got Dig last time, right? Yeah, we do. We do have Dig, so... Do I want to power up Rock Throw or Soft Tent? I mean, Dig is already pretty strong. So I think I'm gonna give him the Heart Stone just to power up that a little bit more. Let's see, do I have any ground type moves or something like that with any of my other Pokemon? I don't think so. No. Definitely not. Alright, let's talk to this old man, see what he has to say. Welcome! I see you found your way around the sacred fish. Oh, so you failed to notice how this cave is designed? I have aligned these rocks in here to look like the Pokemon I idolize. Yes, the majestic fish Pokemon called Magic Harp. Really? Okay. Tales of its past have shown it to be more powerful than it is currently. What? So, uh, Magic Harp is actually good in this game? Is, is that what you're saying? In my family, it is told that my ancestors would pray on a daily basis for the fish to return to its former glory days. What do you mean, Gyarados? <laughs> Blasphemy! I talk about its former birth form. Okay, you know what? I'm done arguing with non-believers. What's that? The path in the forest is blocked? Haha, <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you that fellow. I'll tell that fellow to move. If you complete a small task for me, I have the ability to change you into a real magic. Really? I do not lie. In that legendary form, you get to experience what magic harp around the world have to deal with daily. That is, navigating in the rapids. Then, maybe you won't think they are so weak. Also. Keep in mind that once the task begins, I will not change you back until you fully complete the task. Do we have a deal? Sure, I guess. Go for it. Oh man, we are a magic harp. Ah, oh, so I see what's going on here. Um. So yeah, this should bring us to the item. Yes. All right. We found four. Water stones. Not just one, we found four water stones. What? That is crazy. Okay, so we can go over here. And now. Go up here? Maybe? No, that leads all the way back to the beginning. So I have to go down here and this way. And then to the left. Okay, so it's basically like a teleport. Alright. And then go left. Then we teleport over here. Well, we can only go down. So, let's go down. Wow, this is kind of cool though. Right, we can only go down here. Okay, so let's see this. I think we have to take this one. Yeah. That brings us over here. And now let's go to the left, maybe? Oh, what is... Okay. Hmm. I think I just missed that item, because I can't go back there. Alright. Um, so, uh, where am I supposed to go now? Up. So we land here. Now let's go up, I guess. Go all the way around. Through here, okay. So how are we gonna get that item right there? We have to go into a teleport. Well, we can go right here and then down. 
This will teleport us over here into the item. Mystic water. We take those. Yes. Thank you. But now, what's next? Maybe down here? This seems f too familiar. Let's go down here. Alright. Let's go this way. Let's see. No, that leads back to the beginning. Really, all we can go is over here. And that leads back through here. We need to go left. Right? That should be good. Okay, yeah, that leads us over here. Okay. So I haven't gone over to the left yet. But let's go right here. See where that leads us. Ah, it leads to the same stuff. Okay. So let's go and try and go up here again. Because where that does that lead us again? It leads us over here. Now if we go left, it just basically loops us around. go down we end up in that spot but, but I don't know if we want to go over there I think that's where we came from honestly we go right we land on this spot right here now if we go down we immediately oh wait hold on if we go left here what happens what happens then oh leads back to the same oh man we press down here we go over here wait I think every direction I take leads to the same path in this one wait maybe not we go down here or to the left here aha okay And now we just go down. And that leads us to this. Wait, where are we now? <laughs> where are we now? This is so confusing. Down here, maybe? Okay, so what now? <laughs> I don't want to do <laughs> something that's bad. I'm gonna try to the right here. Okay. So far, so good. And then we press right here. That leads us over here, okay. Alright, and then left is where we should probably go. And let's go and try this one. There we go, we are here, finally! Ugh. Man, that was annoying. That took me a while. That took me a while. It wasn't really annoying, but it was like very confusing. It took me a while to figure out, but that was cool though. There's something different about you now. You appear to have gained great respect for the many hardships of Pokemon, much like the natives of Naljo do. People who moved here from many lands solely use their Pokemon as mere tools. You may want to speak to the last remaining descendant of the messenger on Route 80. For you both share the same vision of life with Pokemon. 
Well done. I give you my permission to go south of Laurel Forest. Okay, so now that we have gotten that crazy stuff out of the way, we can finally move on to the next route. Man, that is just kind of... That was a crazy thing, man. That is, that is definitely something different than your usual, you know, Pokemon stuff. You know? But I like it. It was very puzzling. It was, it was, it was cool. It was... It was pretty cool. Let's just say that right now. So, in any case, let's go ahead and actually go through Lower Forest because we haven't really moved anywhere yet. Like, we haven't really made any progress as like steps go. It's like you know, moving from one position to another. So, I don't want to end off this episode uh, just yet. So, um, yeah, let's just keep on going through this forest and. Uh, just exit out and make our way to maybe the next city. Alright, so the man has moved. That's good. And now we can progress on through the forest. I guess there's more forest to this. Are there trainers here? Oh, there are trainers here. Here we go. Wow, so many bugs to, to catch here. So, have these guys all, all done like the, um, the fish thing? Like... They understand the fish stuff, whatever, because how else would they be able to get over here? That's my question. Have they all transformed into a magic arm as well? I don't know. I don't know, man. But here comes the twister. Oh man, that actually did a lot of damage. These guys actually have high level Pokemon. I might have to do some grinding after this episode. I might just have to. Oh man, that does crazy amount of damage. But at least I can get a lot of experience from this. Maybe even evolve. I don't remember what level Jaws evolves exactly, but there's Eblo Health, let's go on the crystal if it's some experience as well. Level 26! Okay, I definitely need to do some grinding. I definitely need to do some grinding, man. That is crazy. That is a really big jump in levels. Oh man, that signal beam does a lot of damage. Wow. Alright. Like, his is not very effective. Okay, this is gonna kill probably. Because the not very effective signal beam did that much damage. So, so oh wait, actually that did less. That's weird. That's kind of weird. But yeah, that... that not very effective signal beam, they just as much damage as my super effective ember, which is just crazy. Alright, Yamba, I guess we'll give uh, everyone some experience. Because I can just go for the rock throw on this Yamba. Level 25, yeah, okay, I definitely need to uh, grind up until uh, at least like level 24, 25 ish. At least I know that now. You now if I ended up the episode before this battle, I wouldn't be able to know that. I wouldn't be able to grind. So, in any case, oh, we got an evolution. Josh is evolving. Finally, we got ourselves a Grobat, or, or not Crobat yet. <laughs> we got ourselves a Golbat. And I don't think Crobat has like that much, so it should have some good friendship. So who knows? Maybe we can get like a Crobat really early on. That would be that would be kind of nice. Um, so are there a lot of trainers in here? One problem is going to be though that these wild Pokemon are actually way lower leveled than uh, the trainers. Oh, freaking effects for. You're kidding, right? Yeah, that gives like no experience. Uh, you know what? Let's just make our way through this forest right now. I think we can deal with being a little underleveled. See, if we had a sixth member, we would like have been like super underleveled right now. Be super underleveled right about now. 
Well, at least these guys are pretty predictable, and they probably all have a bunch of bug types or grass types. This force used to extend even further downwards until they started all the building work around that city. Well, does that mean that the city is gonna be here soon? That'd be cool. Okay, so that would mean that I can at least, you know, get to the next city. And then decide on grinding. Alright, masquerade. This shouldn't be too bad. Especially since I'm evolved right now. That's not stab anymore. That's not gonna do that much. This, however, is gonna do a lot of damage. Wow, that actually did less than I thought it would. Guess that's what I get for being underleveled. I feel like I missed like a route or something to actually like train more, but I don't know. Actually, I also don't know if I was, like, supposed to go back to, um, Spurt City's gym leader already, or... or nah. But... In any case, let's just try and keep going through this forest. Because I think that is already the end, and that we should be arriving at the city soon. Oh, of course, right before I want to enter, uh, the freaking... Building a <laughs> Paris decided to show up. Uh, get out of here, Paris. Alright, and with that, we are out of this forest. And there's nobody behind the counters. Alright, kinda cool, I guess. We're here at Turenia City, and um, I think I am going to end up the episode here. We have defeated the gym leader, we have done the trial of the magic carp and we have made our way through lara forest so i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode for now i will see you guys next time thanks for watching